So uh, first the device, this is the third generation of Surface, this is Surface Pro 3. As you can see, we have some improvements, like for example, it's, uh, like it's half thicker than the previous version we have. Uh, it comes with Intel Core i3, Intel Core i5, and Intel Core i7. So we have these three different versions. And also the memory comes from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, the space is like 128, 256, and 512, the version we have there. So regarding to the operating system, we are running here a Windows uh, 8.1 operating system. This is a X64 uh, device, so it's running right now Windows 8.1 Pro, but also can run Windows 8.1 Enterprise or any other version we have here. As you can see, we have like all the new improvements from the Surface uh, from uh, Windows 8.1, and uh, like for example, the, the power button here, like the search button here, the chance bar still is there. We have a lot of improvements in terms of, uh, for example, enterprise and security. Mm -hmm. So just to put you an example, I can bring this device, like my own device, my personal device to the office, and just go into settings, change PC settings. From here, network and workplace, I can just put here my uh, enterprise, uh, uh, hot, uh, my enterprise uh, mail account, and I can join directly my domain. So I will be inside my inside my enterprise. I will have access to all the internal portals, internal services, security. Uh, so everything will be there. And in the very moment I click again in leave, it will become again turned into a personal device. So with that, even uh, the IT administrator can just, uh, for example, tweak my startup screen and my applications. In terms of uh, again for the hardware, we have a five megapixels camera here on the front. We have a five megapixels here on the back. Both of them are at 1080p, so it's a full HD quality. We have also a microphone there. And uh, as you see here on the edge, we have this, uh, this uh, new, like, um, uh, vent. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is uh, how we are just um, uh, refreshing the device with the, with, the, with the fan that we have inside. It's very silent, totally silent. Okay, but this just this border is was uh, allowing the device uh, to don't get the heat up. So another improvement we have in this device first is this not 10.6 inches screen; it's a 12 inches screen. It's bigger than the previous one. The weight, as you can see, is like <laughs> let's say let's say weight the, the heavier than the previous one as well. And the back stand is different. So in the previous one we have like two positions: this one and this one. Here, as you can see, we can just. Um, opening and just fix it in any position we want, add to here. So you can just put this here on the table and you just can play with the device directly here. It is for example very cool for drawing and uh, to do some uh, just homework stuff. Uh, another cool feature we have here, you turn off the device, it comes with this uh, fantastic pen that has two buttons here. Usually this is for uh, write and this is for select and erase, uh, depending on the software you are using there. And this button on the top, just clicking it there, it's going to just activate the device with one note. So you don't have to turn on Windows and everything. Automatically, you click that, and you are just ready to take notes there. And as you can see, even I can put my hand on the, on the, on the, on the screen and I continue working, uh, just uh, writing at the same time. So it doesn't interfere with the screen. And also, there is no parallax effect when you are just drawing on the screen. It's fast and fluid. It just follow your hand at the time. You can just check it out later. Uh, if I want, for example, to erase this, I just press this second and button here, and I can, uh, for example, this one. This one, just let me unlock it to say, other proof flex. Hello, how are you? So here I can do this. I can select this, for example. I, I can erase it right away, or just move it around. Even you can take a picture, yeah, just modify the picture from here. You can just, of course, use your hands like a normal touch screen, or yes, you can use the pen for, for that one. So you can use it with any kind of application. So this is one node, but for example, we have here some applications for uh, drawing. So you can just uh, use it, for example, let me show you, just to draw normally with any kind of application. Okay, uh, you can even just use it for, for photographs uh, or even just for, for kids. Imagine that you want to, uh, let me just search for some things. Let's activate the internet network. Okay, talking about the network, this device is using also one technology called Miracast. It means that you can project to any screen just directly through Wi Fi from here. Just uh, check the network later and we can do other demos there. 
Okay, so it supports Miracast, uh, so uh, it has uh, so that it has with integrated. This model doesn't come with uh, 3G because in this model we will very focused on first battery life. Having a model with 3G, the battery life will go down, so we want to make sure that the first model we brought in the market, it has uh, only Wi-Fi and the battery life is uh, very, very long. So I can stay the whole day playing with that and the battery will not ruin up. And uh, also comes with a USB 3.0 here, it's a mini display port. Uh, this is the, for the charger, we changed slightly this, because we found out that the previous version was good because of the magnetic charger, mm -hmm. but it was something struggling trying to put it down there. So here you have just to just put it inside a bit, and it's magnetic as well. Uh, so you, as, as you can, for example, put the pen there, and it's more comfortable for users. Uh, we also change the button from here to here, because we want to make sure that people usually use this like a notebook. So you get this, you open one note here, and you start playing around with that, so this is not going to just uh, disturb you on the screen. Uh, another thing we have in this device, here we have a micro SD card, so you can just extend the memory of your device as they are put in the micro SD card, and just uh, maybe, you know, uh, 128 more gigabytes, for example. And uh, another cool thing we have here is the keyboard. As you can see, the keyboard is a magnetic keyboard, like the previous version. So right now, you just have just to click there and that's all. But we put it more comfortable for our users. So what we did is just we put this option here. So we have here a magnetic, a magnetic stripe. So when you do this, automatically it's attached there magnetically. Okay. So you can start typing here directly. Okay. Or you just can just do this and use it in this way again. Mm -hmm. So this is just an improvement we made. This keyboard also has backlight, so when you are typing a night or whatever, as you can see here, uh, there is not so many light here, but with these two buttons you can put down or up the light on the, on the keyboard. And also we change the trackpad here. So if you click here, the previous base version was like embedded inside the keyboard. Here is like a real trackpad, like a tablet, like a laptop computer. So you can click literally there, you can click here, and also it's more comfortable than the previous one as well. Uh, you have also both speakers here and here for a stereo surround. And uh, you have just a sticker that you can just put here on any other place, just to put the pen there. Okay, and you can just carry it with you like a normal uh, notebook or whatever. So this is more or less in a nutshell what we have with the Surface Pro 3 here.